Welcome to part two of the research paper tutorial. There's only four steps left in the research paper process. Drafting, revision, proofreading, and references. Once you've made some notes and built an outline, you'll find it easy to begin step five, writing a first draft. Let's begin. This step should be the least time consuming of all. If you've done adequate research, have a good thesis in mind, and an outline to refer to, thoughts should just start to flow. If you're finding yourself struggling, this is because you may be critiquing and revising as you draft. For this first draft, try not to revise. Just let listen create. There's no wrong way to write. Revision is the next and sixth step. When revising, there are several things to be on the lookout for. The intro. Is it clear where the introduction ends and the body begins? Is your thesis stated in the intro? Is the intro too long or too short? The body. Are there transitions between the body paragraphs? Do the topics of each body paragraph support your thesis and also relate to each other? Does the order of the paragraphs make sense? Is your language clear? Examples Are your examples and sources reliable and convincing? Are there any holes that might require more research? Is there enough balance between your opinions and the expert opinions from your sources? Make sure there aren't too many direct quotes. Your professor wants to hear what you have to say on the subject as well. Conclusion does the conclusion sum up your paper without being too repetitive? Once you've revised, go back and revise again. And just when you thought the paper was ready, it's time to move on to one of the final steps, proofreading. Now that you've finished with the big time edits, take a final look over the paper for those nitpicky things that need attention. Make sure the verb tense of the paper is the same throughout. If you can, avoid the passive voice. Check your punctuation. Those commas, semicolons, colons, and dashes can really zip by, so watch out for them. Read your paper aloud. This is to check for awkward language or word repetition. Check the spelling with your computer, your own eyes, and let someone else read over the paper to check for errors. Last, but absolutely not least, step 8. Compile a list of references. If you have made good notes, this important part should be no problem. If you've used a program like RefWorks, Compiling a correctly styled bibliography is as easy as a couple of mouse clicks. Make sure you use the same format throughout your paper. The library has PDF guides available for download under the How To section of the website. You can also visit the reference desk for questions about citation style or how and where to find sources. Or feel free to drop in or make an appointment at Dalhousie's Writing Center. The Writing Center is located on the ground floor learning commons of Killam Library. The Writing Center is there to help and answer questions about anything from thesis statements to citation styles to sentence structure. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Thanks for listening. Good luck with your paper. If you need any other help, visit the Reference Desk, or you can chat online with a librarian with the Live Help Service. The displayed website will also link you to other helpful Libcasts.